And uh, we want to make a couple things clear to wait, you guys. Wait, wait. Liz is a snowboarder. We have to put that on there. Okay, we have to so say, stop. We have, we have to say, no, stop. we have no, to no, say. No, 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 what, no. We have to say Liz is a snowboarder. I know, but we're putting it all on the tape, so I'm oh, okay. going. Stop. Okay. All right. So you start. Uh, we're we're borrowing uh, a friend's backyard. Liz, Liz is a snowboarder who has been getting after it for several years here, and uh, we need some shade today. Yep, and Liz also suffers with body issues that some of you, if you live this long, will suffer the way all of us older people do <laughs> with body issues and boarding. So we left off with you guys on the last video because we're going to do a series of things, but I want you to understand that our series will have a flow to it working through the body while using the board. And that's something that um, sometimes we kind of get into teaching as if we're on the slope talking to people and we get into the terminology and stuff. But we think it's important that you understand that a snowboard has four characteristics of performance, yeah. which are? There is a twist, there is a tilt, there is a rotation. Which is the pivot. Which is a pivot. And you should term it as a pivot. It's tilt, t twist, pivot, and, oh, where did my brain go? Bend. Bend. I'm sorry. Bend. Yeah, bend. Bend is really obvious because when when you turn, it obviously bends. But those okay. those are the four things that so the board does. Those are the four performances of a snowboard. <laughs> All snowboards are capable of doing those four performances. Whether they do them in the same place, with the same body parts and the same motions, that becomes All, different, and that's very everywhere. confusing. So what I want you people to understand is if you borrow a board, stay with us, stay with our concepts, and don't get confused with all the mixes that are going to come up later. Because there are a lot of them. Because board design is like golf clubs. You need this one, you need that one, whatever. And we hope that we help you find the one that you actually need or the one that has you having the most amount of fun. So going back on the video that we did, which was stand on the board, in alignment to the direction of travel over your board, left foot or right foot forward, we didn't care. What was the thing we were doing there out of the four performances? We were, I think we were doing a tilt. Were we we, doing tilt yeah, we tip? were tilting. tilting. Okay, so yeah. that's why we want to make this clear to you guys, and this is how we're making it so simple. That phase and those videos that we just showed, we'll call it episode one, was tipping the board, okay? Because we crossed that center line. That's chipping, you know? And we're not talking about the body yet. There, no. there are emotions there but, are emotions that we, or, or the way you designate uh, the board mm -hmm. can do this. There is also the designation to the body does this. Okay. And there are several of those, and those are separate. There are a lot of variations in how we perform these things. But for Ted and I, we are starting with the tipping using what joint, Ted? Ankle. The ankle, good. And the reason that we're talking about it happening from the ankles is because your feet are the closest thing to the snowboard and therefore you want to get that performance, one of the four or all of the four later, but initially one of the four, and that is slight tipping. And why we say slight is because as a new person, once, once you can kind of feel the high back, you feel, oh, that's kind of hold me up. Say, when you go to the tip. show, there is no high back. The shin and the ankle become the necessary support tool of that side, like a hinge on a door. This part is the lower, this is the upper. It's a hinge, okay? So the ankle's a hinge. So we're hinging and tipping, we're hinging and tipping, but it'll be slight because it's all going to be new to you. So all we're doing with this video today is telling you guys, hey, we're going to lead you in with tiny pieces, little pieces. Normally in an hour and a half class, we overload you so much. About 10 minutes in, you go, what are they talking yeah, about now? Yeah. What are they talking about now? Yeah. And in addition to that, guys, the reality is the conditions of the snow that day are going to change some of the yes. things that you will be capable of. So that pretty much is our presentation today. The next one that we're coming out with is going to be 
expanding on that that tipping tipping or tilting and the ankle and how it works and then from there we're going to start to add in other movements that will enhance other parts of the board performance and that's pretty much what this video is going to be today because we're leading you in but we're going to lead you along and what will happen later is if we've led you in at, at episode one and it was a straight line and episode two was was a little tipping and episode three was diagonal line and episode four was going down and, and starting using the front leg more um, and suddenly something happens we're always going to refer back from now on left is left and right is right doesn't make any difference because we are riding on a vehicle that travels forward but we are standing and working as much sideways as your body is capable of doing due to body injuries and future riding. Anything you want to add? Nope. We'll get we'll get to the body body mechanics later. All right. And, and so match them up. We hope you guys will take this in, pass the information on to others that we're really working on giving you a program as opposed to well this is how you do this and this is how you do that and this is how you do this. We want to lead you through and you will be able to go back and, and you could tell us how you're riding, what the problems are, and we could tell you. Go back to episode two. Go back to episode three by doing it the way we're doing. So stay with us and you're going to find yourself educated, having more fun, and hopefully shredding ahead. And we get